Hi gamers and once again welcome back to another review and today I am reviewing Ancestors Legacy on the PC. So what is this game? Well the game is a real time strategy game set in the middle ages during the 10th and 12th centuries. It has a strong emphasis on tactical actions in both single player mode and multiplayer. With clever management and strategy, players will succeed in combat on which the gameplay is strongly focused. Single player missions are based on events which occur in those dark ages. Each RTS fan will find features that suits their needs. Those unfamiliar with the genre should find that this title should be a great starting point. You know, I managed to play a big chunk of the game and may say that I really enjoyed playing. When you first start the game, you will get to pick four playable nations, Vikings, Saxons, Germans and Slaves in an extensive single player campaign. During the campaign, I filled a few missions, but the game has a learning curve and you have to plan your next move. Managing an organisation your team is very simple and within a few minutes, I felt that how I've been playing for a game for a while. You won't only be fighting, you will have to manage your temporary bases and settlements if you have any chance of winning your mission. What I really like about Ancestors Legacy is the cinematic action camera that puts you in the middle of the battle. The game also comes with a multiplayer mode so you can battle your friends online. What is really surprising though is that this game supports a gamepad and it really works very well. So the development team has done really good there. But also, Destructive Creations has created a good looking game with, with my video settings set to the eye setting and it just looks beautiful. The lighting effects really brings this game to life. The developer has done a great job in the sound production in this game, from the swords swinging, flames burning, people screaming to the in-game music and I felt that I went back in time. The voice acting in this game is some of the best in the artist genre and it makes you really engage in the story and the game. So what is my conclusion? Well, Destructive Creations have crafted an artist masterpiece and every time I had to go, I couldn't put it down. This has to be one of the best looking RTS games today and if you're a big fan of this genre then this is a must buy. And my rating for this game is 4.5 out of 5 which is excellent guys. So don't forget to pick this game up. So I am Carl from CoreGamersInc.com and I'll see you in the next review. See you later guys. Bye bye.